Good morning. Uh, welcome to Red Cup Distillery again. Just want to give you a, a brief update. We are going through our expansion extremely quickly now. The grain bin is in the backyard and we have the augers going in and into the building as well as into the, um, into the bin. We are going to be getting our first uh, truckload shipment of grain as that is our only ingredient other than yeast that you can get from the co-op. So you won't find any plastic jugs in here or plastic bags. Uh, that is probably the biggest thing that I've learned from Arlene Dickinson down at Dragon's Den the last few months is stay true to who you are, stay true to your recipe, your ingredients, quality, and um, we have learned so much from Arlene at D District Ventures. We are planning for the next expansion already, which is quite a big surprise, so spending a Sunday morning by myself with a still is going to become rarer and rarer as time goes on. We do have some great employees, and Vegarville's being brilliant except for some older people who aren't happy with the bin. Uh, the bin is a 1950s Bueller bin with a new bottom from Sunrise Panel up in Willington. The still is being completed by the same old guys who built our last one, and actually they're training up a young man to do it as well as they all retire. So the 1,000-gallon still should be here, I'm hoping, in the next two to three weeks, and Rob over at Tower Plumbing is going to be putting in my heater and we should be in the liquor stores sooner than later. So we, um, the banks have been great, ATB has been great. We have some other meetings as well with the expansion. And Arlene, I can't say enough thank yous. Um, I thought it was a joke when first I heard about it. And now that we are actually through halfway through the cohort, getting ready for demo day on May 5th, where uh, I will be asking for money, but more for the expansion for making more liquor because our sales and our orders are increasing more than we can produce even with this expansion. So I'm excited and thank you so much for following us along and thank you for being honest. We did change our label to sprouted wheat and water. Uh, we left out the Fleischmann's yeast because we actually do separate that out. Um, but Fleischmann's has been great as well. We have uh, some stuff that we are working with them on. Uh, but we are going to stay true to the 100 year old recipe and not get caught in neutral grain spirits, synthetic amylase, or adding juice to the liquor and charging you 50 bucks a bottle. Uh, like I always say, we're for people with shit on their boots, not in their boots. So just checking the temperature of the still, I'm going to get out of here, but have fun. It's Garth Brooks this weekend, so hopefully you can get out and see him, and have a great day. Bye.